Say, did you ever wonder what really happens when you bury a shipping container? It might sound like a good idea, but please don't ever try this unless you have at least $4,000 lying around and are prepared to work intensively for a whole month. And even if you do manage to bury a shipping container, you'll soon find out that it was all for nothing. As you can see, the weight of the ground caused the curbside walls of the container to buckle in. Shipping containers are designed to hold a lot of weight, but only on the corners, not on the sides. Here's a closer look. And don't forget about the water. <laughs> Additionally, what if the shipping container collapses and buries everyone inside? What if a secure shelter suddenly becomes a death trap for you and your entire family? Luckily, there is a better way to have a root cellar in your backyard and to protect your life, your family, and your stockpiles in the next crisis. Way better, way cheaper, way safer, but most importantly, way easier than burying a shipment container. And it's also waterproof, so no matter how close the water table is, it won't make one bit of difference. In this short presentation, I will reveal this ingenious method for building a unique kind of root cellar in your backyard, or even under your house, that can protect you and your family from disaster it's like uh, famines, hurricanes, EMPs, looters, tornadoes, bullets, and even the radioactive fallout that follows a nuclear blast. Most importantly, it will preserve your water and food reserves year-round without refrigeration, just like our grandparents' root cellars. <laughs> but it's a lot easier to build. That is because they didn't have access to one thing that we now have in abundance. We just don't use it as we should. I also want to share with you America's nuclear target map so you can find out if you're living in a death zone. Once a nuke is headed your way, you might think that there isn't much left to do, but you would be wrong because I'll show you America's natural nuclear bunkers where you can take cover before it hits. And unlike regular bunkers, which cost a fortune, these natural bunkers are free, well-hidden, and EMP-proof. I think every person should know where the closest natural nuclear bunker is to their home. Sometimes shelter is so close, but you have no clue about it. You could be sitting right on top of it this very second. That's just the case in Detroit, where just 1,200 feet below the city is a salt mine outfitted with everything you need and that could easily shelter the entire population of the city. Other cities like Houston and Cleveland are also situated over similar salt mines. In fact, every state has at least five natural nuclear bunkers, and probably at least one is within life-saving distance from your house. Hi, my name is Claude Davis, and I'm the editor-in-chief of AskAPrepper.com and author of the Lost Ways series. Even though I'm what people like to call a prepper, I'm by no means one of those doomsday preppers you see on TV. I do like to prepare for an uncertain future, but I like to do it like our grandparents did when they had long-lasting food reserves set aside for winter and other hard times. Back in the day, every household had a root cellar, and it's in there that our forefathers stored their supplies and preserved all the food that they produced, bartered for, or bought. And that's what made them so resilient in any crisis. Nowadays, we rely almost exclusively on electricity to preserve our food, but that electricity may be gone in the blink of an eye if an EMP hits. As a senior, I realized long ago that bugging out in a crisis was no longer an option for me. I'll leave that to the young people who are still able to deal with the many hardships of living isolated in the woods. But even for the young, this should be a last resort. Bugging out to live off the land is a fairy tale most of the time. What are you going to do when 10,000 other folks bug out to your part of the woods? Goodbye, game animals, fish, or edible plants. If someone assumes that bug out to the country, I don't think that country folk are going to be that welcoming of intruders on their property. Bugging out and not belonging to that area could get you in serious trouble. Even if you have only two weeks worth of food and water at home, that is nothing to sneeze at. So my advice is to find a way to stay at home and bug in. Leave only if you really have to. Our grandparents didn't bug out because they had their root cellars. And not only did they keep their food and water supplies for months there, but it's also a place to take shelter when a storm hit or in times of social unrest and chaos when the area became unsafe. So putting two and two together, I decided to find a simple way to have my own fortified root cellar, 
kind of bunker in my own backyard where I could keep all my survival stockpiles and preserve food without refrigeration. It also had to be hidden from looters and government watchdogs and be able to withstand hurricanes, tornadoes, floods, bullets, bombs, and even radiation should have come to that. With this kind of root cellar, I knew I could keep my whole family safe and well-fed during the darkest of times. While researching, I did find some ways to build this kind of fortified root cellar, but they were either too hard, too time-consuming, or insanely expensive at $10,000 or more. I don't know about you, but I don't have that kind of money laying around. Then something really strange happened. I accidentally stumbled upon a story of a Vietnam veteran that changed everything. His name is Jerry, and he's 70 years old now and lives on a fixed income. Yet despite all that and dealing with a serious physical impairment, he still managed to build himself a hidden 100 square foot root cellar that you're going to love, and I'll tell you about it all soon. In Vietnam, Jerry became a prisoner of war after stepping on a mine and losing his leg. For a whole year, he was taken from camp to camp and bunker to bunker, where he endured incredible hardships. Through forced labor, hunger, and constant beatings, Jerry found one thing to focus on to keep himself sane. The Viet Cong bunkers being built with a speed and ease he had never seen before. Before being captured, Jerry helped build the American bunkers, which took five men working for weeks to make and were quite exposed. The Vietnamese bunkers, on the other hand, were completely different. You see, the Viet Cong had become master builders because they were forced to adapt to some of the deadliest conditions known to man. They didn't have bricks or mortar and only used what they could find around them but they still managed to build underground shelters that were strong enough to withstand the constant pounding of powerful American bombs. This is where they kept all of their food and tactical supplies. The Viet Cong bunkers were so efficient that the CIA estimated that for every 100 bombs dropped on the Ho Chi Minh Trail, just one North Vietnamese soldier died. On the day he was rescued, Jerry weighed 95 pounds at the most. He was so fragile that they had to feed him through a tube for days. The intel he provided in enemy tactics probably ended up saving many American lives, so the Army gave Jerry a medal and a plane ticket back to the U.S. While well, the war was soon over and American soldiers were happily returning to their families, for Jerry, the struggle continued. Things that most people take for granted don't come easily at all for Jerry. Losing his leg early in life meant he had to do things differently, without hard physical work or breaking the bank and his backyard root cellar was certainly no exception. So if he built it without spending much and dealing with a physical disadvantage, then you could do it too. You couldn't even see it in his backyard. The only thing giving it away was a tiny metal hatch on the ground that was covered by vegetation about 10 feet away from his house. It was practically invisible with all the vegetation growing around. What Jerry had built under that hatch was a unique kind of root cellar, which looked very sturdy and well put together. Here comes the truly shocking part. It took Jerry a week to get it done, on his own. Jerry stocked it with all sorts of cans, rice, beans, and jerky hanging from the ceiling. But he also had modern supplies like progresso soup, pasta, peanut butter, dry goods, candles, water bottles, meds, an AR-15, a really big ammo box, and a lot more that I'll tell you about soon. Jerry affectionately called it his life cellar, and I could really see why. This thing could keep you and your family, your whole family, alive for months, even years, with no outside help. He also improvised a homemade ventilation system. His so-called charcoal life vent would actually be able to filter out almost everything you can think of, including radioactive particles. By now, I was really intrigued to find out just how Jerry had achieved all of this in so little time. The life cellar he built in his backyard was a brilliant mix of three things. First, the old-fashioned root cellars of our grandparents. Jerry had always wanted one of his own. This is where our forefathers kept their harvest from spoiling. They had healthy, nutritious food on their tables year-round. The problem with this kind of root cellar is that they're quite flimsy and can become a death trap in anything more powerful than an ordinary storm. They're not that easy to build, especially for someone disabled. The second thing Jerry considered was the U.S. Army bunkers, they had a tactical advantage and provided safety from bullets, shockwaves, and floods. More than that, they were made of inexpensive materials, but on the other hand, they were exposed in plain sight and weren't easy to build either. 
And the third most important part was the Viet Cong's secret method of building hidden, quickly built bunkers that were so easy to build that two people could finish one in a day. Uh, they didn't look like much from the outside because they blend in with the environment, but they are incredibly resilient to bombardment, grenades, and shelling. They also had a second exit, so those inside would never get trapped. But they did not make use of good enough materials for these to last more than just a few short years. So Jerry did something sharp and inventive. He combined them all in one design. His cellar had all the benefits of our great-grandparents' root cellars and the American Army war bunkers, and he made extensive use of the secret Viet Cong building method with none of their drawbacks. His cellar was so cool that I thought I definitely needed to have one in my own backyard. It was also cheap enough that I could finally afford it. Most Americans need only a 50 square foot cellar, which can be made with only a fraction of the money and time that Jerry spent on his. And so I thought you and every fellow citizen should have a fortified root cellar in your own backyard. With Jerry's help, we've developed a program. We call it the Easy Cellar. We set out to share this life-saving information with as many Americans as we could. Americans who want to be more self-sufficient, 100% prepared, and less dependent on the government, the grid, and supermarket chains. It's like having a 24-7, no matter what, and completely invisible Walmart in your own backyard. Here's what you'll discover in the Easy Seller program. First of all, we made this blueprint as simple as possible. So it would be a no-brainer, even if you've never built anything in your entire life. You'll have unlimited access to our videos, our plans, and our instructions. And you can ask us anything if you need any clarification until you finish your own easy cellar. Just imagine the exact spot in your backyard where you soon have your old-fashioned root cellar. And stepping down those stairs, cold air will take you back in time. When every house in America had one to store everything, our great-grandparents grew or bartered for. It kept many goods from spoiling without electricity, and it will do the same for you. You'll have fresh, healthy food right off the shelf to feed your whole family during hard times. The Easy Cellar was specifically designed to be hidden away from prying eyes or looters. So even if you're outnumbered and surrounded on your own property, with nowhere to run, you'll always have this secret place to go to where nobody will find you. So how will you feel when five looters are ravaging your house to be able to observe them safely while tucked away in your concealed bunker? And then even if FEMA comes for your supplies to confiscate and redistribute them, they can't steal supplies they don't know are there because your cellar will be invisible to government watchdogs as well. The easy cellar will serve as the perfect storm shelter too. You and your family can always take cover there. After these catastrophic events that tear down houses and cause weeks of blackouts, you won't have to sleep on the floor of some high school or stadium, crammed in with thousands of other growling stomachs. Instead, you'll still eat delicious food three times a day and stay safe, all thanks to your Easy Cellar. We'll also show you exactly what to store in your Easy Cellar so you can have everything you need to stay inside for three months. That's right, if you don't want to leave or it's dangerous to go outside, you and your family can outlast a crisis from the inside. You'll also learn how to make your own odorless toilet and a reliable sink. You'll also discover how to use an ingenious method to safely store large quantities of water, a method that was used by our great-grandparents too. You see, with no direct sunlight and the cellar's low temperature, water doesn't spoil easily. But by using this method, you will keep your water fresh almost forever. The easy cellar might be easy to build, but it's a nightmare for anyone who to try to break in. In that regard, it closely resembles a panic room. As you know, one of the most important parts of any cellar is the ventilation system. With the help of a nuclear expert, Jerry's ventilation system was tweaked, and now it filters anything a professional nuclear, biological, chemical filter would. You'll never have to worry about any airborne contaminants getting into your easy cellar, not even nuclear fallout. Plus, in our program, you'll find a step-by-step -step system to survive in your easy cellar after a nuclear blast. Chances are you won't be directly hit. What you need to worry about is the nuclear fallout and when it's safe to go outside again. Contrary to popular opinion, while well, immediately after a nuclear explosion, 
Radiation levels skyrocket for hundreds of miles. They dissipate very quickly compared to a nuclear power plant meltdown. That's why they rebuilt Hiroshima and Nagasaki in just a few short months. But Chernobyl is still a ghost town 35 years later. Nuclear bomb fallout doesn't stay dangerous forever. Its radioactivity falls exponentially. One hour after detonation, the fallout is fatal after just 50 minutes of exposure. After just seven hours, the radiation level will have fallen so much that it will only cause radiation sickness. After 49 hours, it's almost safe to go outside. Two weeks after the attack, you can be exposed for several hours a day without serious risk of radiation sickness. A year after the attack, radiation levels will be close to normal background levels. So you won't need to stay hidden in your easy cellar for years. After one month, you can start spending a considerable amount of time outside. Plus, you'll also discover 15 natural remedies for radiation that you can keep in your easy cellar. The principle for protecting the body from the absorption of nuclear isotopes is the law of selective uptake. Reduced to bare bones, it means that radioactive isotopes look like nutrients to the body. So if the body is deficient in a nutrient, it will grab hold of the isotope that resembles it and absorb it. You can prevent this by taking extra doses of the nutrients you need. For example, iodine supplements protect against iodine isotopes. Cesium-137 mimics potassium in the body. Strontium-90 mimics calcium. Plutonium-239 mimics iron, and so on. The 15 foods that you'll find in our blueprint are critical, and if you don't already have them, then you should put them in your reserves. You need to add them fast. One more thing. After an EMP or a solar storm, there will be no more electricity. You won't need that refrigerator that much if you have the easy cellar in your backyard. And basically, you'll still have everything you need to live a normal, healthy life and even help others if you want. This is just a tiny bit of what you'll find in our Easy Cellar program. If you get it right now, you'll also receive two exclusive reports that will be off the table soon. The first report you'll get is America's Natural Nuclear Bunkers. Find the closest one to your home. We chose it for this report at no extra cost because I know how many American lives will be saved just by knowing the vital information contained inside. Until your easy seller is ready, you'll still have somewhere to go, so you'll be more protected starting this very minute. I personally keep a printed copy in my car whenever I'm traveling. There's no telling where you're going to be when a nuclear war begins. It's not like we'll have any warning if someone ever decides to push the big red button. There are literally thousands of natural bunkers all across America. And there isn't a state that doesn't have at least a few of them. The first thing you need to do is to search for your state and find the closest natural bunker to your home and your workplace. The second report you'll receive is 56 items to stockpile in your easy seller. Pound for pound, we've selected only the best items in terms of space occupied and the price that you should add to your easy seller. You'll also discover what Jerry stockpiled in his own cellar. There are some items and foods that are more suited for a cellar and that never spoil in one. These 56 items are specifically for Americans who won't make it without the basics and can't spend a fortune trying. You'll discover the top items that are just as good as name brand products, but at a fraction of the cost. So if you choose to follow the Easy Seller program, you'll also get these exclusive bonuses that are worth $29 each for free and unlimited access to the members area where you can ask me or Jerry anything at any time. We'll be there to answer your questions and to help you if you need any clarification on anything else. We made the Easy Seller program, like the name suggests, as easy as possible. Our goal was to give everyone the possibility to have an old-fashioned root cellar and a sturdy bunker combined into one, right in their own backyard in as little as a week after receiving our program and with minimal cost and effort involved. To help you along with your project and speed things up, we'll also provide a step-by-step -step video guide for building the easy cellar, as well as written plans with in-depth details. This is also free of charge and comes with the program. You could be accessing our Easy Seller program just five minutes from now, 
and in even less time, you'll be able to locate the nearest natural bunker to your home. Like me, I'm sure you'll immediately start feeling a lot safer, knowing that until you decide to make the easy seller, you'll have a place to take shelter right away. If Jerry built his at 70 years old with only one leg, I'm pretty sure you can do it too, and probably a whole lot faster. Think about it. How much is it worth to you to have a root cellar and a secure bunker to protect your life and supplies just a few feet away from your home? If you stayed with me so far, I'm guessing it's pretty important to keep your loved ones safe in the next crisis. And that you, like many other Americans, would be willing to spend a large sum of money for this kind of protection. Rich people pay anywhere from $50,000 up to $200,000 for a small bunker. Ah, but I believe that when lives are at stake, profit must take a back seat. So today, the entire Easy Seller program and the two bonuses can be yours for the price of a t-shirt, just $37. But the only way to get it is to click on the button below now, as this offer will not be available for much longer. The money will be put to good use by offering quality support and continued assistance to anyone who needs help along the way. The way I see it, you have three options here. You can ignore my message and hope that things will get better and that a crisis will never strike America. But history has shown us that it is just a matter of time until a huge collapse will hit us. I think there's no way to escape it, whether it's an economic crisis, a famine, an EMP, social unrest, drought, a natural disaster like a hurricane or a tornado, war, or an epidemic. I think some of these events will affect us in our lifetime. And for that one time, it's best that you are prepared, unlike the rest of the population. In doing so, you become less vulnerable, less dependent on the government, and more self-sufficient. Our great-grandparents were a lot more self-reliant, and this is why America is great now. We're raising a generation of kids that will starve to death without a Walmart nearby. You can also buy a shipment container and bury it. But you've already seen what happens when you do that. And there's a lot of hard work involved with that one. In fact, if you don't have $50,000 lying around to buy a ready-made bunker, or if you don't want to break your back carrying bags of heavy bricks and cement, then you may want to take advantage of the Easy Seller program. If you want to keep your food and water stockpiles safe from spoiling, floods, looters, tornadoes, and even worse, then the Easy Seller is readily available for you. A safe haven right in your backyard, and it's the added bonus of taking you back in time as if your own great-grandfather were holding your hand while building it. Remember back in the day when a man's word was his bond? He needed nothing else. Frankly, I miss those days. So I still like to do things the old-fashioned way, on a handshake. Today, in keeping with those simpler times, I want to offer you our one-of-a-kind handshake guarantee. When you get the Easy Seller program, you don't risk a single dime. We wholeheartedly believe in the Easy Seller program, and we are more than willing to put our money where our mouths are. So here's our promise for you today. If for any reason whatsoever you're not 100% satisfied with how inexpensive, easy to build, and incredibly effective the Easy Seller truly is, just send us a short email and we will refund you every last penny with no hassles and absolutely no questions asked. And of course, you'll be able to keep your two bonuses just for giving the Easy Seller a try. You may think we're going out on a limb offering such a powerful guarantee, but we're really not. Most folks love the Easy Seller so much that we hardly ever receive a refund request. So go ahead and become one of the tens of thousands of Americans who have already protected themselves and their families and will eat fresh, healthy food from their root cellar year-round. You really have nothing to lose. During this short presentation, I have shown you beyond the shadow of a doubt why bugging out is not the way to go. It's hard. You lose the tactical advantage of your home ground. And besides, most people will do that. Imagine millions of the unprepared fleeing to the woods. How much game meat or edible roots do you think are out there? You've also seen why even a nuclear war doesn't have to be the end, with radiation dropping according to the 7 over 10 rule, and why burying a shipping container is literally a death trap. Unlike similar faulty or otherwise extremely expensive bugging-in options, 
the Easy Seller will not only shield you in your own backyard, but it'll also supply you with all the food, water, and medicine you need. It'll be your tactical base of operations, where you'll choose whom to bring in and whom to keep out. Sure, your way of life won't be exactly the same. You can't really expect that with the world falling apart around you. Whether it's an economic meltdown, tornado, flood, famine, EMP, mass riots, or even, God forbid, a nuclear attack, you will be affected. But it's going to be a lot less severe, and I think that you're going to be far better off than most people who will have no shelter to speak of. But most importantly, you will be among those who will rebuild America. At least for me, it doesn't matter how much I'll suffer or the price I'll pay. There's no more honorable duty than this. Don't do what most Americans do. Bury their heads in the sand and hope that a crisis won't strike the U.S. The sad truth is that only 3% of people actually prepare in this country. If you've watched this so far, I truly believe that you are part of the elite 3%, or at least that you're serious about joining them to better protect your supplies, your family, and your very life. It's the people going the extra mile before a crisis strikes it that stand the best chance of survival once it hits. You'll be in your own backyard, comfortable and protected, surrounded by your loved ones and your supplies, while others will starve, fight, and even kill over the last piece of meat or moldy bread. Nobody will know about your easy seller unless you want them to. Because, as I said, one of the greatest advantages of our program is that it allows you to build it in complete secrecy. No hungry mobs hunting you down, and no FEMA stealing vital supplies for the common good. What common good? Where were those people when you were struggling to stockpile food to make sure your family survives? If more people would prepare the right way, and crises would become just temporary setbacks. So click the button below, and one week from now, you'll be gazing at your finished easy seller, full of supplies and ready to protect your whole family, and even neighbors and friends, from whatever crisis strikes America next. By ordering today, you'll also receive America's natural nuclear bunkers. Find the closest one to your home, which normally costs $29, and 56 items to stockpile in your easy seller, which is also valued at $29, completely free of charge. Just these two bonuses alone are worth their weight in gold in a nuclear crisis, as you'll not only know ahead of time if your area is dangerous, unlike 99% of other Americans today, but you'll also have an emergency solution to take shelter when you're too far away from home to reach your backyard easy seller. This deal simply cannot get any better, and I want you to join me and the thousands of other self-sufficient Americans who will pave the way to the future of our country, just like our ancestors did 250 years ago when they first built it. We will be the ones that rebuilt it. While our forefathers didn't have a lot to spend, they realized that there's no better investment than a root cellar, and modern benefits like cutting refrigeration costs are nothing to sneeze at. They didn't miss a thing, our great-grandparents, and neither will you, once you have an easy cellar in your own backyard. So go ahead, click the button below, and we will see you on our secure order page in just a second. Here's what people are asking. Number one, how much space do I need in my backyard for the easy seller? The best part about the Easy Seller is that we developed it to adapt to every possible dimension. You can build a really small one at 20 square feet or 500 square feet or even more. It all depends on your needs and available space. Two, how long will it take to build the Easy Seller? It depends on how large you want to make it. Jerry's Easy Seller is 100 square feet and it took him one week. But as you know, Jerry is disabled, so if you want an easy seller of the exact size, it will probably take you less time. Number three, how much work is involved? Everyone should work at their own pace. If you want to dedicate one hour a weekend to build the easy seller, that's fine. It doesn't matter how quickly you finish it. What matters is that you have the seller of your dreams in your backyard. The only thing I would like to say about the work involved is that if you want to do the digging, that is the most time-consuming and hardest part of the job. But it's not that hard. It's just digging. If you do call for the excavator, you, you'll pay anywhere between $200 and $500, but the job will take only one to three hours. This concludes my presentation, and I hope we meet on my secure checkout page after you click the button below. Thank you for watching, and God bless you.